And my dream was to be the best. It's not just the intelligence, it's the sharp mind, it's the good chin, it's the tremendous heart. When it comes down to boxing, I'm the best at this. In 2015, following perhaps the longest wait in boxing history for a mega fight, Floyd Mayweather was scheduled to fight Manny Pacquiao. But what took so long? And how did a boxing event capture the intrigue of the whole world? After a decade of domination, the boxing world grew eager to see self-proclaimed TBE take on the pride of the Philippines. Pacquiao's rise in stardom came from defeating a number of Mexican boxing legends whilst he also climbed up weight divisions to beat bigger men. And though Pacquiao was naturally the smaller guy, his destructive performances that had defied the common challenges of weight disadvantages compelled the boxing fans to wonder if Mayweather had met his match. Mayweather was well aware that the fans wanted someone to come along who would threaten his undefeated record. Can Manny Pacquiao beat me? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What's going on right now in the sport of boxing, they're trying to build a fighter, they're trying to make a fighter that can beat me. And break the remedy and break the code on my defense, but I don't think it can happen. And I think it looks totally different on the outside than when you're inside that, that ring with me. I'm not ducking the dodge no point. If Pacquiao's the man that's next, he step up to the plate and that's another ass I got to tap. You don't, you don't get to this point by just fighting nobody. They say Floyd ducking the dodge. You don't get ranked pound for pound or, or known as one of the, uh, you know, the greatest fighters that ever lived fighting nobody. It's just that I make them look like nobody. I make, I make a, fight, a fighters look like D fighters. It's not my fault. But making the fight happen was a separate issue itself and both fighters were questioning each other's desire to get in the ring. Do I want it to happen? Absolutely. But do we want to fight? We don't know. You want to fight Mayweather? For the record, yeah. The thing is this, if Pacquiao wants it, he can get it. He knows as a fighter. He knows what he's facing when he's facing me. And even at this point, Mayweather would foresee the lack of credit he'd get for winning, despite all of the hype surrounding the fight. If the fight ever happens with me and Pacquiao, and when I beat him, people is not going to be surprised because he's been beat before. And then if I outbox him, they're gonna say it was a boring fight. Then if I do knock him out, you're supposed to knock him out, you the bigger man. <laughs> so, like I said before, I'm always in a no-win situation. And in late 2009, the first major contractual issue of the fight arose, blood and urine testing. Due to Pacquiao's relatively quick climb up weight divisions, Mayweather felt he had doping suspicions that were logical. So Mayweather wanted Pacquiao to take a random Olympic style drug test before the fight, which Pacquiao declined. Where was Manny Pacquiao at in 96? If you go back and you go back and look at the pictures, at first his head is small, and then his head just, his head all of a sudden just grew. It's just so easy. Man, Ray Charles can see this shit. Come on now. This 106, now he decided to just walking through Kodo. Come on, man. But from the public's perspective. This all seemed like the fight was in doubt because it was Mayweather who was fearful of suffering his first defeat. I don't think he has any senses. I, I don't think the fight's gonna happen because I think he's scared to lose. Mayweather is afraid of you? I think it's kind of that. No, Floyd is scared. No, Floyd cares about his family. Floyd is smart. All right, if you are insinuating that I'm a scared fighter, then why would you even want to watch a scared fighter? So the two went on to fight other opponents. 
but I never know no fighter to turn down $25 million to go get $6 million. I never know, you know, not to take a drug test. With the random blood and urine testing, they wanted to be notified when USADA was coming. So that's not <laughs> random. Then, a month before we were gonna fight, they said no testing at all. And as the public seemed to blame Mayweather, he felt as if he was being abandoned by his country. I wore USA on my back in the Olympics, but then they down, they down with me in my own country. They're telling me that there's another fighter from another country better than me. And the feeling was exacerbated when it wasn't Mayweather who was given the Fighter of the Decade award. Manny Pacquiao got Fighter of the Decade. I said, oh, he did? I said, well, in the, last, in the decade, did he get his ass whooped? They said, yeah. I said, okay, well, how did he get fighter in the decade? And, and, and I broke all records in the decade. I ain't, I ain't even lose. So tell me. <laughs> What's I'm just asking. As the years went by, animosity between the camps grew. However, the desire from the world was growing even more. Perhaps more to be made down the line against Manny Pacquiao. Could come after that with Manny Pacquiao. And all the fans are waiting for the Pacquiao fight. What's going to go down? Again, I keep going back to Pacquiao because it's the fight that boxing fans want to see. Do you uh, feel that that would be complete one, without once Pacquiao? Once again, you keep asking me, listen. Times are wasting. You guys need to get in the ring. Right? Everyone is talking about the Pacquiao thing. But can I ask you one quick question? Do you think maybe that you owe it to your fans and the sport you know, of you're boxing? You're talking about everybody else. You're the same thing. And it appeared as if both fighters felt the same way. We only want to fight the biggest and the best out there. And Manny Pacquiao, yes, you're next. And going into 2012, Pacquiao had reneged on his resistance to the drug testing. Yes. Because the first negotiation, we were against the blood test, and it was kind of our fault that the first time it didn't work. And then we came to a point where we accepted that later on. In my side, there is no, there is no problem. Uh, the problem is in his side, so... But removing the challenge of blood testing only revealed a new challenge disagreements between the promotional companies, as well as friction between Bob Arum and Floyd Mayweather. It's gonna be tough negotiating with Bob Arum. This guy still owe me more than millions for the Arturo Gotti fight and uh, the, uh, the Zab Judah fight. It's not my fault. Mayweather Promotions, I run my company. He has a boss, Pacquiao has a boss. I don't answer to nobody. He has to answer to somebody. With me being my own boss, I'll say let's make it happen. He's not his own boss, so I can't talk to him. I honestly think a little bit that Bob wants that fight to be our last fight. To the public, though, this all seemed like excuses. It's unbelievable how much money there is here. And they're not fighting each other? What in the world is that about? The next major issue was negotiating the split of the purse. You know, I've done my homework and see what, his pay, what, he, what he was used to making in, in big fights. And in an interesting turn, Mayweather personally called Pacquiao up himself and they discussed terms. Whatever you, 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 you ask or request for the blood, uh, blood testing, no problem to me. And as long as it's 50-50 uh, and he said... He won't have. I'm like, I can't afford him to get half now. Absolutely not. I'm not giving up the split. I'm not. I can't. I can't afford to, no. And offer him 40 million. Um, he said he wanted 50-50. So we didn't make the fight happen. He made an offer of a flat fee and nothing more. That's crumbs. Floyd felt that since he was king, he was justified in taking most of the revenue. I have record-breaking numbers that I've done. He has no record-breaking oh. numbers. I've done more. I've been around the sport, and sport longer, and I've been dominating longer. Since 2007 and 2008, when Floyd and Manny respectively fought Oscar De La Hoya, Floyd had earned an average of 30 to 40 million dollars a fight, compared to around 20 to 25 million for Pacquiao. I done I done over a million homes by myself. I deserve I deserve the, the bigger piece of the pie. But critics felt that regardless of past numbers, Pacquiao's name was just as important in making this a big fight. You don't deserve more of the purse. Split that. If there was ever a fight in history that should be split 50-50, it's the Pacquiao Mayweather fight. But in 2012, Pacquiao's stock would begin to fall, starting with his fight with Timothy Bradley. To most spectators there, Pacquiao dominated the match. 
It seems as if he just physically overpowered Bradley at this stage right now. But the judges didn't agree. Timothy Bradley! And I think that is a terrible, bogus decision. And even if the Bradley outcome was debatable, the next fight with his rival Marquez would not be. Because if he... Oh! The back and forth contest ended with an unquestionable result. Balance. But after that, Pacquiao absolutely. How about that round of boxing? He's not getting up, Jim. He's not getting up. No, he's been knocked out. He's knocked out. Manny Pacquiao. All talk of the Mayweather match would be put on hold. The knockout was stunning enough that there wasn't much discussion of him fighting Mayweather. This time, it wasn't any contract dispute that would threaten Mayweather versus Pacquiao. It was Marquez's right hand. The next question is, what does he do now? Going into 2013, Pacquiao's stock had fallen, but Mayweather's stock was getting as high as ever. In a record-breaking pay-per-view event, Floyd defeated the super welterweight champion Canelo to unanimously claim the title of world's best fighter. Meanwhile for Pacquiao, the comeback run was underway, and up first was Brandon Rios, an opponent who was no match for Pacquiao. And that there's no reason to suggest his career is over. His first win in two years. Next was a rematch with Timothy Bradley who offered a tougher challenge. And Bradley with the right hand momentarily lifted Pacquiao up. Bradley up, goes to the flurry again. Pacquiao has won this fight. In late 2014, Chris Algieri was next. A sensational straight left cross. And that's going to be the second knockdown of the fight. After the fight, Pacquiao was asked if he wanted Floyd. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight next year for him. The fans will deserve that fight. After great performances, the fans were once again clamoring for the fight. The way Manny Pacquiao is performing, we want Floyd Mayweather against Manny Pacquiao. People can prepare for the next, next earlier next year. And Mayweather shared the same enthusiasm. Absolutely, I would love to fight Manny Pacquiao. He's not on my level, and of course, I want to go out with a bang. There still were issues amongst the contract negotiators. Bob Arum is stopping the fight. We have been trying to make this fight happen. But the negotiations would eventually be put into the hands of the fighters themselves. In a crazy coincidence, Floyd and Manny attended the same Miami Heat basketball game. I never expected that it was there. The two met face to face for the first time ever, eventually exchanging numbers. Later that night, they met up at Manny's suite and expressed their desire to both make the fight happen. You guys are the prize fighters. Who can stop you two from fighting if you both really want? Early in 2015, the two sides were breaking down the obstacles to the fight, including with the television networks, the drug testing issues which were so significant before, the split with the money, and on February 20th, terms had been agreed and the fight was finally on. Now, finally, he has nowhere to go, his corner. After a dramatic six-year build-up, Pacquiao and Mayweather were scheduled to share the ring. May 2nd in Las Vegas, or if you prefer the countdown, 71 days away, whatever you prefer, it's huge. Right from the first and only press conference, the magnitude of the event was evident with the two best fighters in the world getting the red carpet treatment. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, he's a solid competitor and uh, May 2nd, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a, a brilliant game plan. And then came the sight the world was waiting for, Floyd and Manny officially facing off. They'll all be watching this great event unfold. We are in the toughest fight of our life. Uh, we're fighting the best fighter in the world. And we're gonna kick his ass, I'm sorry. But good luck today. We, we, will, we will do our best in, 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 in May, on May 2 to, uh, to make you happy. And Pacquiao is one of the best fighters of this era. I'm in the gym working right now, pushing myself to the limit because I never want to want to fight so bad in my life. And I'm pretty sure he's going to push himself to the limit 
just the same way I want to win. But one thing I do know, when you lose, it's in your mind. If you lost twice, it's in your mind. And as the fighters pushed themselves to the limit, the attention of the media followed suit, and the attention that this fight attracted was on another level. Nine figures in 36 minutes, truly, truly blessed, and I'm thankful. Fans felt that finally Floyd would meet his equal, but with characteristic belief, Floyd felt that he would prove the critics wrong. I'm gonna show you the way you make, make four or five hundred million in the sport. You gotta watch me. Everyone is saying, if anybody ha has a chance of beating Floyd Mayweather, this is the guy. I mean, but he makes a lot of mistakes. I do have a great game plan. Me and Manny have been working on it for the last two days. It's just that, you know, Mayweather does set traps. But Manny has to recognize when he's setting that trap and nullify it. It's easy to nullify, I promise you. He said the same thing before. And it's all about the fighters fighting May 2nd and giving the people excitement. He can't run so much anymore because his legs are a little bit shot. And he can't move like he is. He's going to have exchange blood. I'm more comfortable for this fight than I was for the last fight and Pacquiao seemed to be just as relaxed, so both camps were brimming with confidence. I'm more worried about the fight when, when I fought De La Hoya and Cotto than this fight. I want, I want him to approach it like he's not nervous. The same mother that kicked his to Marquez, you see what I did to him, I believe in my skills. I want to do it in, in such a beautiful fashion. There's five ways to beat him. There's no way to beat me. Mayweather understood the magnitude of the event and took it more serious than the last 47. He skipped out on the usual pre-fight parties he would usually hold. You know, he's preparing mentally for the fight. He wants to prove to everyone that he is the best and no one can take that from him. It's not like a normal fight. Floyd also drafted in the assistance of one other Southpaw who gave him a good fight a decade earlier, Zab Judah. Zab is in the gym now pushing me, making me think. I'd like to be surrounded by world champions. I would love to see him excel in this opportunity. We just heard of him. He just came on the scene. And that's what I need for a guy like Manny. Floyd and Manny had shared multiple opponents in the past, so they and other fighting legends gave their unique perspective on the matchup. Pacquiao has been in tougher fights. Mayweather, on the other hand, has been somewhat of kind of cruising. A counter puncher Going against aggressive. an aggressor. So something has to give. This is a great matchup in that. Manny Pacquiao, he's gonna go in, he's gonna try and attack. Quickness Manny has, explosive is his main advantage. Pacquiao is a great fighter. He has speed, he has power, needs to do pressure, but he needs a little intelligence on the ring. Being aggressive on him the whole fight. His uh, strategy, you can beat him. He has to come in this fight better than he'd ever been before. How is he going to overcome this? Pacquiao connect one punch with power, maybe Mayweather going down. This, this can't be an easy fight. This is good. He's going to get hit. Who do you ever fight like this? You ever have a fly in front of you and you can't catch it? Manny Pacquiao was like that for eight rounds. He hurt you every punch, even the arm punch is solid. More explosive punch than Floyd Mayweather. And that that's what might give uh, Mayweather trouble. I think uh, Floyd Mayweather is the best pound for pound fighter. Now this guy's a strategist. This guy uh, knows how to calculate his punch. Floyd Mayweather think, try to be one or two step ahead. He's looking for opportunities as he roll. He want Pacquiao to extend himself. I think he likes people putting the pressure on him. They bring the best out of him. And Mayweather is a master of throwing those, those right hands. He throws them very well. He knows how to throw combinations enough to win the round. At this age, at this time, can he do it now? I think that's going to be important. That's Everything depends on what kind of mind they have on May 2nd. It's very interesting to see what Manny Pacquiao shows up and what Mayweather shows up. When Floyd and Manny showed up at the weigh-in, it was the biggest ever, with the fans who couldn't afford the high-priced tickets getting a glimpse of the two prize fighters. Because most of these people will not get a chance to see the fight in person. This is going to be New Year's Eve times 10. Where were you May 2nd? I was in Vegas, baby. All the hotels, the clothes, the food, shows, those are the type of things that I bring to the table. And if you're not a boxing fan, you know this fight's coming. It's once in a lifetime and it's not going to happen again. This is definitely the largest fight we've ever had here. The tickets for this fight were also the largest. 
they were originally priced between 1500 and 7500 bucks but were being resold as high as 150 to 350 thousand dollars how much did you pay for your tickets 44 thousand dollars a ticket with the career high paydays guaranteed for each other the focus was back on the fighting and both were in tremendous shape for the biggest event of their lives 145 pounds at 146 pounds it was now time for the generation's best two fighters to fight Mayweather, the older of the two, he has had less ring wear and tear than has Manny Pacquiao. As expected, the atmosphere in the arena was electric. In the MMA first, and you have the red dog, Manny Pacman. Bedeviled by the notion this fight might never take place. And now, here they are. Mayweather versus Pacquiao. Finally. Mayweather with early jabs. Floyd fought with intense focus right from the opening belt, bothering Pacquiao with his lead left and not giving up ground. So Manny quickly found that he couldn't just jump in with his usual aggression as Mayweather was working the right hand well. However, he managed to corner Floyd at the end of the first round. Now Pacquiao momentarily got Mayweather into the corner. Pacquiao's best chance, and he'll look for another opportunity like that. And Manny's corner knew they needed a better way to get inside. There's no one here. And the two big right hands, that was a Mayweather round. Pacquiao came out even more intent on getting close. He landed the left hand of the chest of Mayweather, Mayweather. But this wasn't without risk against a great counterpuncher like Floyd. The 44 in the second round, but landed only six punches. The approach of the fighters were the polar opposites, with Floyd throwing single accurate counter shots, and Pacquiao attempted to push Mayweather back with punches and bunches. He's still having trouble finding the target. Now he's got Mayweather in the corner. And he's a big hitter that people want to give him credit for. They don't call him the best defensive fighter ever. Right hand by Pacquiao seems to be falling right now, like he doesn't really know what he wants to do. People. Compare him to Brunel Whitaker and why not? That's it. So we're into round four of a scheduled 12. Judge with your eyes, couple of points. Pacquiao's the aggressor, but not the effective aggressor. In round four, Mayweather was still elusive, but Pacquiao was determined to force the action. But oh, he just landed a left hand, and it looks like it hurt Mayweather. And maybe hurt Floyd Mayweather. The fight was now getting the drama that fans were hoping for. But how would Mayweather respond? Be able to get going at some point. And there, there's the Mayweather right hand tactically in the fight. No, 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 no. So skilled and experienced that that may not happen. And landed at exactly the same percentage against her, blocking them pretty effectively. Oh, Floyd Mayweather. Punch edge and landed shot. Those are the two flurries against the ropes. Not a prolific body puncher, but clearly this is a reminder of the early rounds of the Oscar De La Hoya fight. If both Shane Mosley and Oscar De La Hoya, he's got Pacquiao's punches wasn't landing as much as they usually do with other fighters, but Mayweather Sr. felt that his son would need to do more to dominate the fight in the eyes of the judges. 
entering the second half of the fight, Mayweather seemed to be inspired from his father. Domination by Floyd because he don't want to be fun. And then lunging in. We do, but guess what? We're more than that. He doesn't jab as much as people think. Just not to give him the round. His punches are very flat and muffles him in the next round. Yeah, that's exactly right, Jim, and it's good to do that. Yeah, but the difference is not bothering to use that double jab and stutter. And that brilliant jab, Jim. That long jab is making back out the outside. Well, he should step to the right and get outside of it. Great left hook by Mayweather. Goes to the left hook ahead on the scorecards. It would be because of... Pacquiao couldn't land solid combinations, whilst Mayweather himself was comfortable landing more accurate pot shots. Mayweather isn't landing big shots, just touching Pacquiao. He gets closer down to his pace. There's no way in the world you're going to beat him. I don't care how good you think you are. Now, at what point, Roy Jones? Better defender than Juan Manuel Marquez. There you see the copy box numbers of total punches thrown most of the fight. Right he wants to get the bucket. Pacquiao's got him in a corner. Here's his chance. Going into the championship rounds, Manny's goal was to add accuracy to his activity, but it was Mayweather who was stepping up. Hard right hand by May. 17 and 0 in 12 round fights. And that I, have, uh, I have Mayweather comfortably ahead. I think he's won most of them. Had the advantage of speed. In many respects. Hard left hand to the body. Back. Having the effective jab that he's had uh, against the South. Fighting behind his jab. Beats. It's not easy against any fighter. Mayweather don't have to do much. He's ahead. Yeah, I think it's becoming obvious. You know, we said it going in. Entered the ring. He didn't get off to his fast to start in the first couple of rounds. He got. He has Manny Pacquiao. He wants him. So he hunts Manny Pacquiao with right hand counter shot. He believes that he has Manny beat. No, Sammy. you. In the final moments of the fight. Who would steal the show? 49 0 equals Rocky Marciano's power of the fight might wane because it took so long for the rewards to do it. He could do it. If that guy that fell was good of him, I think that was a part of his. As long as he was pinned the ring without the tactical ammunition to open up, he was stretching it out to maximize the dollars. He was right. Get to the last 10 seconds. The celebration is probably beginning. The event was concluded with the two congratulating each other. <laughs> and even before the scorecards were read, Mayweather felt pretty confident. Mayweather threw seven more punches. Give me more Stop me up! Excuse me! In favor of the winner, by unanimous decision. For Floyd, this was vindication for the years of doubt from critics. But Manny Pacquiao's a tough competitor, so I had to take my time and watch him extremely close. He had moments in the fight, you know, I kept him on the outside, I was a smart fighter, I outboxed him. Uh, Manny Pacquiao's a tough competitor, he's a true champion at heart, both was at our best tonight. What's your impression of this fight? I got him many times, I sold the punches, and I think I, I believe, I, I thought I won the fight. Floyd had won the biggest bout in boxing history, and though the result was unanimous, there still were critics who felt that Pacquiao's aggression should have earned him a win. In my books, Floyd won maximum four to five rounds, that's it. I saw little to no offense. If don't nobody hurt each other bad and one guy throwing the more punches, then how do you score the card? Yeah. The aggressor wins the fight. That was Evander Holyfield's point. Pacquiao dominated Mayweather throughout the entire Not fight. True. Oh, no, it no, is no. true. Not true. And he came down. Just uh, be defensive and at the end, uh, he won. Pacquiao was the aggressor. I got him in at least seven rounds being more aggressive. Took this fight and put it in a vacuum. Manny Pacquiao would win that fight. And if that wasn't enough, Pacquiao then revealed that he didn't go into the fight 100%. Up here in my, in my, my right uh, shoulder. I thought the progress was good enough and uh, that's why we stayed with the fight. What we want to do is uh, we cannot go because uh, 
my shoulder. I got I got to show respect and just say he was the better man if he beat me. Both of my arms was injured. Both of my hands was injured. Everyone was saying for years I was scared and um, Floyd would lose. Tomorrow, for all those that wrote bad stories about me, I'm going to wake up early in the morning and I want to see y'all stories tomorrow. <laughs> Floyd sternly ruled out a rematch. I don't want to do business with them anymore because he's a sore loser. If you lost, accept the loss and say, you know what? You was the better fighter. It's okay to be right behind me. I lost a lot of respect for him. You know, a true champion can bounce back. Manny Pacquiao, you're not on my level. You will never be on my level. Excuses, excuses, excuses. After all was said and done, the history books would name Mayweather as the victor of the most lucrative fight. But Mayweather's career wasn't over just yet.